Hi yogis, welcome. This is Land and Heart Yoga Practice and Yoga Teacher Training. My name is Kate. Thank you so much for joining me. Yoga is such an integral part of my life and it's such a pleasure and an honor to share it with you in whatever capacity it is that you're able to log in. Whatever you're wearing, whoever you are right now, whatever you're going through, yoga is a place that welcomes you, mind, body, and spirit. Thank you for joining me. This is a practice for your hips and your shoulders and a venue to be curious about what meditation and yoga can provide for you. You'll need a strap or something. Um, it doesn't have to be a yoga specific strap, a dog leash, a climbing rope, whatever you've got. Grab some kind of strap, some kind of rope and let's get started. So start with your strap extended out and hooked into your thumbs with your fingers pointing upwards and inhale and exhale completely. Inhale and reach your shoulder, your hands up towards the sky. Look up, lean back slightly. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. There's so many different types of meditation and these moving meditations are such a great way to be curious about the power of meditation. So it's sort of using a strap is sort of free flow. It also makes this representation of some kind of yoga pose. It makes it accessible for anybody. Just keep integrating your breath, exhaling as you come down and then inhaling as you lift back up. This time when you're up at the top, come into a twist over to one side through center and then exhale over to the other side. So if you're a little bit stiff and sore like I am from whatever it is that life has thrown your way, just be tolerant of yourself. Inhaling, lifting your hands up. Exhale and twist. Come back through center, inhale. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale back to center and then hands come down to the mat. You can move your strap off to the side. You can come back to that at any time. You can do that at your desk, wherever you are. Hands cupped into your lap. Sit here into your meditation. The first step with meditation is to be curious about what's there. There is no agenda, no expectation, um, no prescribed time really for, the, for a meditation. We will sit here for a minute or two, but when, if you're just starting out with your meditation practice, do it without expectation, without agenda. Uh, just be curious about what's there for you. Before you settle in, move your shoulders around just a little bit, wiggle around a little bit, get yourself tucked in, um, relatively comfortable. You should be able to sit here with ease, but um, you know it's different from taking a nap. There is a certain amount of, of engagement with your core strength.
Flutter your eyes open, bring your hands together in front of your heart center. What an extraordinary gift you give yourself by giving even a minute or two of silence in the middle of your day. Open your elbows wide, inhale. Exhale, curl in. Do that three times, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale, open your elbows wide and then exhale. Come on over onto your hands and knees. Fingers are spread wide. Knees are about hip width apart. Lift up into cat. Round forward as you exhale. Three times. Lift up, breathe in. Exhale. One more time. Come to a neutral spine and extend your right leg back and behind you. Reach your left hand forward. Hold here for a full breath in. Your right index finger is down on the mat, or your right palm is down on the mat. Index finger turning forward. As you exhale, replace your left hand down on the mat, opposite side, left leg, right arm. Full breath in and out. Both hands down to the mat, exhale, press back, tuck your toes, press back, downward facing dog. And for this first one, it's quite a short downward facing dog, really generous bend in my knees. This is to support my low back, which, which bothers me a lot. So if you're like me, you're really curious about how the yoga practice can help alleviate the tension and the discomfort in your low back. It's obviously a combination of stress reduction techniques and finding the right prescription of exercise for your body. So start with downward facing dog. Often the first one of, of the practice is a really generous bend in my knees. Head is hanging heavily towards the mat. Take a breath in here, always integrating the breath with the movement. And then walk your hands to meet your feet at the back of the mat and tuck into this forward fold. Forward folds are simultaneously a stretch for your back body and also this representation of um, an introverted perspective, learning to understand yourself through your yoga movement. Come up halfway. Hands can come onto your shins. Look up, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale and fold forward and then let's do that movement three times. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold forward. As you use your yoga practice to navigate through any physical discomforts or emotional frustrations, you learn to strip away your vanity and your ego and your expectations of yourself. This practice just becomes this template for you to understand what's going on with your body, whether you've been, you know, whatever it is you've been doing, lots of skiing or lots of running, you're training for something, maybe you haven't been moving much at all, come forward to a high plank here. And so whatever it is, you just use this practice as a template and a venue to understand what's happening um, with your low back, with your knees, with your hips, whatever it is. Speaking of your knees, lower them down onto the mat and come into a modified Chaturanga. So your chin and your chest lower down, knees are down, and then pull yourself forward into a low cobra. Very gentle back bend here. Look up towards the sky, breathe in. Press back to child's pose, breathe out. Toes are tucked for this child's pose. Feel content and comfortable here. Hands extended in front of you. Walk your hands back, sitting at the back of your mat in this meditative seat that you started with. Let this practice have meaning. Start with curiosity. One breath here in this meditative seat. Curious about what the meditation is and can be. No expectations. And then walk your hands forward. Come to a full Chaturanga, or you can modify on your knees again. So 
lower and hover above the mat roll over your toes to upward facing dog inhale roll back over your toes downward facing dog exhale still quite a generous bend in your knees Look to the top of the mat and silently, carefully step your feet forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale as you fold forward. Stand all the way up, inhale. Quite a generous bend in my knees. Very careful with that transition. Hands to your heart center, exhale. Reach your hands up to the sky, inhale. Fold, exhale. Look up and breathe in. Step your right foot to the back of the mat and come to a twist. Left hand reaches up to the sky. Both hands down, exhale. Straighten your left leg into pyramid pose, Parsvottanasana. Lift your gaze for the breath in. Fold forward, gaze at your second toe for the breath out. Walk your hands just in front of your foot. Step your right foot up to meet your left halfway lift. There's lots of these. Feet can be hip width apart or maybe even wider. Whatever your low back will accommodate. Exhale as you fold forward. Palms are planted on the mat. This time step your left foot to the back of the mat. Come into a twist. Right hand reaches up. Breathe in. Be patient and curious. Both hands down to the mat, exhale, pyramid pose. Feet are firmly planted down on the mat. Look up as you breathe in, exhale and fold forward. Walk your hands slightly in front of your right foot. Step your left foot up beside your right, probably wider than hip width apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Stand all the way up, grounding down into your feet, bending your knees. Come on up, breathe in. Hands together at heart center, exhale. Let's do another one just like that. Reach your hands up, inhale. Good, fold forward, exhale. Right foot first, step to the back of the mat, come to the twist, inhale. Pyramid pose, exhale. Palms down on the mat, right foot steps to the top of the mat, halfway lift, breathe in. Left foot steps back, twist. Right hand reaches up, look up. Both hands down. Step your left foot up to meet your right at the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Stand up, breathe in, feet are wide. Maybe toes are turned out slightly. Just play with the placement of your foot. Exhale, both hands down to your heart center. Good, pause here. Stand firm and steady with your hands by your side. Samastitihi is your home base. This is not necessarily a yoga pose, it's more a state of mind. You stand firm and steady right in your practice, poised and ready for, you know, for this practice that you get to do, this practice, this yoga practice that you get to interpret for whatever it is that you need it for. Engage through your core strength, so use that to support your low back. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, look up and lengthen your back, lengthen your spine. Step both feet to the back of the mat, modified or full chaturanga, hover above the mat. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, step your right leg to the sky, bend your right knee. Left heel pressing down and into the mat. Bend and straighten this flying right leg. Look forward and step your right foot through. Open up into warrior two. Arms extend out from your shoulders. Bend your right knee.
Straighten your right leg, reach your hands up to the sky. Let's add breath with movement, right knee bends. Exhale, inhale to straighten. Breathe out. One more, breathe in, reach up. This time come to Trikonasana, right hand comes down to your right ankle, look up at your left hand. Stand up, warrior two. Bend your right knee. Feel strong and steady. Bend your right knee a little bit deeper. Be curious about what's there. Be curious about the power of the movement, the power of the meditation, the power of the breath. Curiosity is, is all we can ask for. It's the only expectation when we begin our yoga practice. Curiosity about what's there, how we can interpret the practice for ourselves, our perfectly imperfect selves. Both hands come down to the mat. Step back. Modify your Chaturanga or do a full version. If you're modifying knees, chin and chest lower, lift into low cobra, gaze up, tuck your toes, press back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts to the sky, inhale. Bend your left knee. Step through, warrior two. So the left heel is lined up with the arch of the right foot. Your arms are extending out from your shoulders. Stay here. Straighten up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Warrior two, exhale. One more time, reach up, breathe in. And exhale, warrior two. Trikonasana, left leg is straight, right hand, left hand down. Look up at your right hand, triangle pose. Warrior two. Look down, both hands down. Full Chaturanga or modify. Up to you. Whatever you do, do it with intention. Choose your modification, choose the full pose, whichever it is, use your breath. Inhale, look up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, exhale, great. Three deep breaths here. This extraordinary practice just opens your door, opens the door to understanding who you are. And I will, I will save you the suspense. The truth is that you are perfectly imperfect exactly as you are right now. Everything is as it should be. Things change, things were different before, things will be different again, but right now you are perfectly imperfect. Look to the top of the mat and take your perfectly imperfect step forward, whether you're stiff or you're sprightly or somewhere in between. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale and fold forward, and then we're going to come to a yogi squat, knees wide. Soles of your feet pressed down into the mat, hands together in front of your heart center. Just stay here, breathe deeply, press your palms together. Acknowledge yourself as this perfectly imperfect being just in this moment. I'm going to confiscate the, the green dragon from Spruce Man because he has started eating it. I'm just gonna put it up here. Come back to your yogi squat. And then 
and sit down. Extend your legs straight out in front of you. Draw an imaginary line right behind your knees. Bend your knees so that your feet land right at that imaginary line. Right arm wraps around your knees. Left arm behind you in a twist. Exhale here. As we come down to seated, again, be intentional with your practice. So you have chosen to unroll your mat for these, these minutes. You've chosen to be curious about the yoga practice. Don't let your attention wander off to, to anything else. We're only, we only have a few minutes left. Be completely immersed in your breath, in your movement, in your curiosity of the practice. Come back through center, reach your hands up towards the sky, and then twist to your right. Come back through center. Reach your hands up to the sky, inhale. Very slowly curl your spine as you lower down to the mat. Flat on your back here. You can realign yourself onto your yoga mat if you need to. Just one time, lift up into a back bend, press your elbows down and into the mat, lift, 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 lift your low back, your middle back, your upper back, and then clasp your hands behind your back. Breathe deeply here, three breaths. the third exhale carefully lower yourself down and onto the mat and take a twist drop your knees over to the left side of your mat turn your gaze to the right Other side, twist in the other direction. As you come through each of the transitions, remind yourself to be kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. Remind yourself to be kind to yourself. We start with kindness for ourselves, and then we let that extend out in our actions and our thoughts to the external world. And as hard as it is, sometimes we are divided politically, socially. We don't understand each other, but we start from a place of kindness. It's, it's all we can do. It's the best we can offer is kindness to each other. Your yoga practice is the perfect venue to start. Kindness, compassion, and joy in your own skin, your own body, your own breath, your own circumstances. And then you are able to extend out this extraordinary benevolent kindness, this equanimity out to the world beyond the confines of your own skin. Squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Just lie here with your knees bent in towards your chest. Rock from side to side. And then we're going to do a restorative inversion. We're gonna get upside down. If you have a wall nearby, just extend your legs up and onto the wall. Extend your arms out from your shoulders. These restorative poses are a place to restore vital energy. It's such an effort. You know, I, we talk about kindness in the yoga practice. We talk about benevolent compassion, but it's, it's truly an effort to, to actually exemplify those qualities in your daily interaction. And these restorative poses that I like to throw into my yoga practices, they help to restore this vital energy that you, that you have, but gets lost in the challenges of your day-to-day -day interactions with your family and your job and your um, environment. Restore this vital energy. Restorative poses means that you're fully supported. So in this case, the wall is fully supporting you. If you need to, if your back is aching, you can slide a, a block or a rolled up blanket underneath your hips. Otherwise, settle into your restorative inversion and then just wait. The magic happens in the patience.
Squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Roll onto one side. Come up to sit, back to where we started. We'll do Shavasana in just a minute. Even though we did a restorative pose, we can't skip Shavasana. It is tr indispensable to the whole practice. Shavasana is where you integrate the whole, all of the information, mind, body, breath, spirit, all of that in gets integrated into your well-being, your psyche. But before we do that, sit here, hands lightly touching in front of your heart center. Acknowledge this extraordinary practice that you were brave enough to be curious about. <laughs> Yoga is not a treatment for anything, but it is a, a daily practice that you can, you can participate in. It's a consciousness that allows health, balance, and joy to be your companions through all of life's ups and downs. You don't need to practice every day, but if you do need your practice, you might wish that you had practiced every day. And that's not a threat. It's a, a suggestion that you practice your yoga as much as you possibly can. Come to lie down in Shavasana. Very gently wiggle your fingers and your toes and then come to lie on your right side in the transition. Don't rush. And just pause on your right side for a few minutes, a few moments. And then when you're ready, come up to sit, right back to where you started. The light in me sees and acknowledges the light in you, wherever you are. Namaste is our closing salutation. And we acknowledge the curiosity that it takes to unroll the, unroll the yoga mat, check in with our own intuition and see what's really there. Thank you so much for practicing with me. My name is Kate. This is Land and Heart Yoga and Land and Heart Yoga Teacher Training. And I will talk to you again soon.